what's going on YouTube man hope everybody's having a great day so in this video I'm gonna talk to you about uh, basic riders course now that's for motorcycles um, let's get into it Are you thinking about riding a motorcycle? Do you have a motorcycle? Or are you already experienced in riding motorcycles? Either way, the basic rider course is good because it helped me get the basic understanding on how to operate a motorcycle. I went to the course with no experience on how to ride motorcycles at all. I know how to ride a bike, I popped a few wheelies, but when you get on that motorcycle, whole different game trying to turn and maneuver. So this is the book, this is what we used. Um, we had a classroom version of it. And we was in the classroom and we got tested on the whole book, the whole time. Um, pretty much the whole duration that we were studying the book, you gotta go through all the sections, you get to ask questions and you gotta score a certain amount. I think we had to score 80 percentile before we even got to get on the motorized uh, motorcycle. So before we got to go ride, you pass your test. Once you pass your test, it's like a really, really good feeling. But at the same time, I was nervous um, because that was my first time riding. So in the book, we covered risk, controls, how to operate the, uh, the vehicles, um, road conditions, what to do when, and protective equipment. So the equipment that they wanted us to have was just, you could have jeans, you had to have a long sleeve shirt, you had to have steel toe boots, your own helmet and gloves. I didn't have my own bike at the time, but when I did get my own bike, it was like months after, but they did provide a bike for us, so that was actually a pretty good deal. So let's rewind, how did I even sign up for the course? So I had a training petty officer at the time, they pulled up ESAMs, if you don't know what ESAMs is, um, I'll definitely make sure I spell all that out in the, in the description box below, but they pulled up ESAMs and I was able to sign up for the course that way. Or you could just type into Google like local basic riders course. And then if you're military, type in local basic riders course on a military installation. That way it could be free for you. Or if you're not, if, you're, if it's not going to be free for you, at least you'll have that, um, that option of finding out what the course is. So how long did the class take? Um, it was a few days. I want to say about maybe four, maybe five if I remember correctly. It was definitely about four though. Uh, classroom and three days outside riding where we learned how to uh, walk the bike, put it in neutral, put it in gear, shift gears, stop on the, stop on the dime, uh, figure eights in the parking lot, learn how to park, signal correctly, learn how to basically maneuver the, maneuver the vehicle like as safely as possible. Uh, it was about maybe seven or eight of us in the class. They had dirt bikes. They also taught us the difference between the, the bikes. Uh, different what CC means and stuff like that. So it was a very informative course. Um, definitely recommended to anybody who's thinking about riding. So within, shoot, the first two weeks of me actually getting my bike. So like I told you, it took me a while to even get one. So I got a Daytona uh, 600 2004 from a buddy, um, 2000 bucks he, he sold it to me for. His wife wanted to get rid of it, right? <laughs> That's how it always works. But anyway, I, I got the bike from him, like literally within two weeks, I already fell on the bike. So I say that to say, make sure you have your, your equipment on at all times. Make sure you have your helmet, your gloves, your long sleeves, your pants, your steel toe boots. Um, make sure you have every, all that stuff on so when you fall, it won't be like a serious injury. So my, my fall wasn't like terribly bad. I was taking a corner and I took it too slow, right? So I was just learning how to ride. I took the, the corner too slow and then I toppled over on my left hand side and then, you know, shattered my, my signal, my turning signal on the left hand side, scratched up the bike and all that good stuff. So make sure you're wearing all your gear because also if you didn't know, especially if you're military, the military won't pay your family if you don't have your, if you don't have all your gear on, like they'll say you weren't really protecting your life. So, I mean, in a sense, kind of true. Same thing with like riding with no seat building, you get in an accident and you unfortunately uh, lose your life. Your family won't get the money because your life was already, like you enhanced the danger almost, like you took away your life saving equipment. So wear all your protective equipment. So yeah, be safe on that road guys. Um, let me know in the comment section, what bikes do you do you ride? How long you been riding? Um, do you have multiple? Do you have 600? Do you have leader bikes or what? Uh, catch your next video. Hope everybody has a great day. Peace.